Oh, it's a beautiful morning. Yeah. I guess I'll go out. Oh, you jerk. That's it. I'm doing a basics on your ass. Ah, get off me. Get off me. Stop eating me. Ah. Ah, we're get out. Ah. Oh, all right. Yes. Yeah, today, I'm Flicker Foo. And welcome to Arc Basics. Today, we are going to cover Thylacolio. Where is my Pteranodon? Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basics, C for... Well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. All right, Thylacolios, the best, at least my favorite dino of ever, of all the land mounts on Ark Survival Evolved. These guys are absolutely amazing. And I did the Titanoboa one recently just so where I could build up to these guys because these guys are simply amazing. Hi, Tapajara. Take it easy, dude. All right, but yeah, today we're going to be discussing these guys. How to tame them, what's the best method to tame them, how we're going to, uh, um, how we're going to get the kibble to tame them, and then, um, how, uh, you know, what's the best methods for taming. Because you can tame these guys with raw mutton, raw prime meat, cooked prime meat, cooked mutton. Matter of fact, um, they prefer cooked mutton over any of the meats. So if you have access to cooked mutton and you don't have access to titanoboa kibble, use cooked mutton. Now there is a caveat with that is because when you use, um, Oh, the cooked mutton, their taming effectiveness goes down really, really fast. Cause that's what cooked mutton does. So, but if you use raw prime or raw mutton, it's going to go down much further. And it's also going to take a lot longer. But just so you know, unless if you're using Titanoboa kibble, their taming effectiveness is going to plummet. And there's no chance of you being able to get a perfect tame on these guys. But if you have access to Titanoboas right over here, we've got plenty of Titanoboas over here laying us eggs, chilling out, just giving us the stuff. That's right. All right, come on. And it's like, yeah, come on. Give us the eggs. And yeah, so as they give us more eggs, we're going to be able to craft more Titanoboa kibble, and I believe I've got uh, some of them in there. All right, but yeah, we're going to take a look at that, and we're also going to take a look at the taming pins. We're going to take a look at the best ways to get them off trees, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so hey, uh, sit back, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and then let's jump right into Thylacolio. All right, so when you're going out hunting thylacolios, there's a few things you're going to need. One, you're going to need a flyer. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a flyer, but I strongly suggest that you have a flyer. Um, and then this right here is to where you can fly above the reach of the thylacolios, and you can swoop down and you can hit them. If you are on the ground, which you can do it from the ground, I would say you go with something big and beefy, something that can take being hit by something massive, for a, a prolonged period of time. Like, say, like, I mean, you could do it on, um, like a saber tooth or something like that. That way there you could run away. Maybe a dire wolf. Something of the sort. Something where you can run. Um, but just remember, <laughs> microraptors are a thing because thylacolio only spawn inside the redwoods. And also, what you're going to need as well, you're going to need, uh, uh, I would suggest a long neck. Um, you don't have to have a long neck. You can do this with a crossbow. I would not recommend doing it with a uh, bow. Not at all, not with a bow. They're a little bit more of an advanced tame for a bow. Um, have a crossbow, preferably a nice leveled um, crossbow, um, or a long neck rifle. That long neck rifle is my preferred one. Right, so, and then they're just generally the easiest. Um, but once you actually get a regular Thylacolio, once you have your first Thylacolio, another Thylacolio is, in my opinion, the best method for taming these guys. Okay, so now let's get down here. I have a little mobile taming pen down here already pre-built, and look, there is a Thylacolio right there. I think that's the guy that chased me out of the woods earlier. Yep, that's him. All right, uh, so yeah, this base, this uh, mobile taming pen down right right here is quite valuable all right so now this thing right here it's just foundations and i'll link to the video where i built this sucker um it's just foundations put on a raft 
with uh, ramps set down like that and uh, uh, window walls all the way around it. And this right here is kind of instrumental. You can just use it like a beach landing craft where you can just take it and you can just stick it right on here. Anywhere you want to, right along the Redwoods. And it is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love this taming pin. Um, there's also another taming pin that you can do where it's right underneath the uh, trees. And that one right there is just uh, fence foundations with um, like a two by two of a single... Um, oh, uh, one of... Uh, you can use doors. Just regular stone doors. Um, and that way there, and you have one ramp that goes up into it, that way there, you run it into it, and then you, uh, lure it into the taming pen after that, and then you can just freely knock it out. Alright, so now we have to find one of these guys that's on the trees, because I'm going to show you how to knock them off the trees with an Argent. Alright, so off in the distance, we can see one of these guys. Now, you always have to be aware of when you're flying through the redwoods, that there's no other Thylacolios that are hidden from you, from view, uh, because they will, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's been times, you know, where you go flying through the redwoods, and then you stop, and you're, you know, you just don't even realize what you're doing, and then uh, next thing you know, you're going, this is a bad idea, yeah, and then you quickly have to back up, and then just get out of dodge, <laughs> all right, but yeah, um, so let's knock this guy off the tree, and I see him right over there, all right, so we've got a couple parasurs down here. Now, the easiest way to knock them off a tree is kill the titanoboas below us first. All right, so that's the easiest way to do it um, that way. But to get him off the tree, the easiest way is all you do is go down like this, grab your uh, long neck with tranks loaded, and then you just shoot him. One hit right there, and then they are... Will you get out of here, Mr. Paraceratherium butt? But yeah, one hit off the tree and they'll fall off. Or you can go like this. Now this is a little bit riskier and then you could do this with a Quetzal and I would recommend doing this with a Quetzal. But if you're doing it with a, an Argent, it, it... So that guy just leapt at me. All right, well, hey, um, so that guy leapt at me. <laughs> but normally if you come down from above them, you just go down like this, and you just smack them just once, and then they'll just pop right down. All you have to do is hit them. But I would recommend using a long neck from a distance and then uh, popping them off. Or you can just do it like this. Uh, what level are you, buddy? Do I want to tame you? You're level 80. I don't want to tame you. All right. And then um, also another thing. If you're having a hard time finding high-level Thylacolios, just go through and just waste them all. Yeah, go through, uh, grab a ground mount, waste them. Um, knock them off the trees, uh, and then clear them out, and then every once in a while come back to them and then just keep checking. Alright, so hey, I'm gonna head over, we're gonna go see if we can find a nice high level one, and I'm gonna demonstrate how to tame them with the taming pen. Alright, so now we've got a Thylacolio that j knocked me off of here, so come on dude! Alright, yeah, I, I was looking through and I ended up finding this guy, and uh, yeah, he, um, took Super Dodo instead of me. So, yeah. Oh, hello. Hey, guys! Alright, so let's help clear everything out. Grab this. Come on, dude! Alright, now we're just gonna carry him over to us. Alright, so now, um, if you have an Argent, you can just carry these guys. And it's, uh... Yeah, it's a little bit easier than actually luring them through, and it's a little bit safer. Um... But yeah, if you're on like a Tronodon or something like that, or if you're on a ground mount, which is preferably a uh, saber tooth or something like that, uh, you could just take them, lure them down, and then right when you get to the pit down here, right when you get to the taming pen, you can just jump across it. And then they'll uh, fall into the taming pen, and everything's great. Which, uh, let me see if I, can, uh, rem if I can replicate that kind of thing right here on the ground. Go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's get you to lose a little bit of aggro. Alright, so let's come over here. And let's set down right here. Oh, there's another Thylacolio right there. Thylacolio's all over here right now. Alright. Let's come over like this. Alright, so now, where did you go, buddy? Oh. Stop following me. Alright, let's get you back over here. 
And now this is the most dangerous part of the entire thing, is when you're out and about like this, because the thylacolio will waste you right quick. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, a Perlovia. Okay. All right, so just like this. That's how you do that. All right, so now we've got a Perlovia in there. Let's remedy it so where we actually have a Thylacolio in there. All right, so for the most part, you just take it down like this, wave your meaty bits right there, and there it is. Right there in that trap. All right, so let's take this guy. Let's knock this guy out. And I would recommend when you're knocking these things out, use use higher than regular ones. Uh, you can do it with regular, but yeah. If you have it, um, the... Uh... Okay. If you have access to these, to uh, um, regular uh, or advanced long necks, stuff like that, yeah, I would recommend using that over just about anything else. Alright, I'm gonna get this guy knocked out after I... Seriously? Later, dude. Alright, so yeah, after I get this guy knocked out, I'll bring you guys back. Alright, so now that this guy's knocked out, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Titanoboa kibble and we're gonna throw it on there. Alright, and then we're gonna pay very close attention to his uh, Torpor, because their Torpor actually goes down kinda fast. Which means that you want to have narcotics. Now, if you're taming these guys with a uh, cooked button, you're definitely going to need a little bit of narcotics. Um, if you're taming these guys with uh, Titanoboa Kibble, you might need a little bit of narcotics. I would just pay close attention to it as it's going down. Make sure that you have a little bit of narcotics on hand. Stuff like that. But yeah, um, if uh, Titanoboa Kibble, you're, you're going to get his best possible tame that you can. And then in a pen like this, you're going to ensure that you're not going to get... There, nothing's gonna come by, and it's gonna smack you. Because you can just take them, and you can park them out here, right in the middle of the water, so where nothing's gonna come by, and it's gonna smack them. Told you. Take off. Right? You too. Right? Jeez. Pompies. Alright. So yeah, now all we're gonna do is we're gonna pay close attention, make sure no spinos come up to them, anything like that. Um, but with this uh, pen facing out like this, chances are nothing's gonna come out and nothing's gonna harm them. Yeah, this this pen works really, really well for making sure they get the best, most highest taming effectiveness that they can. All right, so this guy's up. Let's take a look at his stats. Uh, now these general these guys generally turn out to be pretty beefy and pretty tanky, and that's one of the benefits of a thylacolio is these guys. Um, not only are they uh, agile. They're also resilient, and it they are absolutely amazing. This guy right here, um, he turned out to be pretty good, um, really good on the health, really good on the stamina. His melee damage is kind of is kind of poopy, but other than that, I mean, his weight is really good as well. But we're gonna get this guy back to base, and we're gonna talk about some of the really cool things that you can do these guys, and then also some of the stat points that you kind of want to. Uh, pile up on these guys that way there you can get these guys leveled up and just some of the things that you can do with these guys because these guys are absolutely amazing and once you get a nice high level thylacolio they will change the way you play the game in certain aspects all right all right so let's set this guy down over here and uh let's discuss a few things about uh yeah exactly how you want to level this guy up now, uh, over here, you'll notice I've got quite a few Thylacolios. I've actually got a lot more than this. I've just got some in, in other spots. Yeah, and then um, this one right here, let's see. This guy right here, um, for my regular series, he's pretty much one of... He's like a mainstay in my series. Uh, because this guy right here, uh, Snickerdoodle, he's turned out to be quite amazing. Now, I've also got this one over here, Fondant, um, which is uh, another thing I wanted to discuss. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, no, it wasn't Fondant. It was... Let me go find it somewhere over. No. Oh. Well, um, yeah. Oh, there it is. There you are. All right. It's Oreo right here. Because I want to talk about one of the biggest benefits of Thylacolio. It's not, you know, I went out and I tamed one, which is actually really good. Um, going out and taming one because they'll change their life because this guy right here. He's been amazing um, And I mean look at this I mean he's I, this guy. I've leveled up a lot. I mean look He's got 56,000 XP on this guy. I love this guy um, 
and he's got 15,000 health. And um, this is my tank Thylacolio. Um, I can face tank T-Rexes with this guy and then knock them out. I've done it on camera. It's so good. The, you, you really don't need a taming pen um, for quite a few dinos when you have a Thylacolio. You could just go out, you can tank it and just knock it out while it's beating on you. I've done it with uh, um, Uteranuses, um, uh, but then Uteranuses also scare you. I've done it with Rexes, I've done it with Parasurs, I've done it with uh, um, oh, Brontos, I've done it with all sorts of different things. And you can just have it beating on you as you ride these things because when you're on the back of these things, you can freely whip out your weapons and go to town and just knock out anything. But the true benefits of these guys is when you can get them completely imprinted because these guys, their movement speed goes so fast. Now, Oreo right here, this one right here isn't as tanky as Snickerdoodle over there, but you'll notice her melee damage or melee damage is so much higher. And this one right here is what I call my alpha killer. Um, for just regular uh, going around the island, I love Sticker Doodle, but Oreo is so much faster. It's just, I mean, look at how fast this Thylacolio goes. It's really impressive just how fast they go. All right, so hey, um, one of the benefits with these guys is their ability to climb directly up hills and mountains and just anywhere. I mean, it's really, really impressive how far you can go with these guys. Because in places that were um, previously uh, not accessible to uh, regular ground mounts are easily accessible with Thylacolios. And then Thylacolios, when you level up their melee damage and you get them hitting super hard... Here, watch this. Just how, fa just how much damage this thing does. All right, and also, they take reduced fall damage. Now, also, there's a trick with their reduced fall damage. If you uh, uh, notice like this here, let me hop up here to this um, section of mountain and I'll show you. All right, so here we have a nice sheer cliff. Okay, so now if we, if we uh, are running along this and if we run up to the edge and we hit the jump right as we go, we'll end up taking damage when we go. Here, let me show you. All right, we took about a thousand damage from that fall. But if we go back up to it, and we reset, and we get back to the top, and instead of just jumping down, we run down, we take a lot less damage. So when you get to these big, huge cliffs, and you want to jump down them with your Thalicolio, just run off them. Don't uh, jump off them. When you jump, you actually take more damage. So um, just run off them, and you'll take far, far less damage. All right, but now let's sample just how much damage these guys can do because they are very, very impressive. Here, let me show you. These guys, they're going to be your mainstay dino once you finally get one. But, and also, I mean, look at that, 475 damage. Yeah, and yeah, it's, it's very, very impressive how much damage these guys do. All right, let's see. How quick are we gonna make, how quick work are we gonna make with this guy? Yeah, super fast. All right, now, also, one of the, like I was saying, instead of needing train or uh, um, taming pens, you can just come out like this and right on the back start knocking out all sorts of different things. Now, this guy, he's he's going to die to his, uh, oh, to these Dimorphodons. Well, he might actually kill them. All right, but if we can just knock this guy out while we're on the back of this, and he can come up to us, he can eat us, he can uh, munch on us, he can do whatever he wants, and all it's gonna do is just be just a little bit of damage on our Thylacolio, something that's easily mitigated, especially on a fully imprinted one. Yeah, it's very, very impressive what these guys do. But like I was saying earlier, uh, taming a really high-level Thylacolio, taming two high-level Thylacolios, it's... It's very important that you get it done, but also, it, it, I always consider it kind of like a rite of passage for each of my uh, series, each of my playthroughs. Finding just that perfect Thylacolio that you can call your buddy and then you can um, level up as you're going through the game. It's really impressive what these guys can do, and it's very necessary. Um, well, not very necessary. I mean, you can get by without a Thylacolio. I'm not sure I would want to do it. Come here, Mr. Alpha. I don't, I'm not scared of you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you better be scared of me. Run, buddy, run. That's right. I'm gonna waste your butt. 
Alright, let's see. Come on. Yeah, look at how fast I'm wasting that Alpha Raptor. Level 45 Alpha Raptor. That quick. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Like I was saying, I always consider it kind of like a rite of passage as I'm going through raising up a, or taming a Thylacolio. And if you can't find a Thylacolio, uh, a nice high-level Thylacolio in those Redwoods, keep trying. It can take days. Sometimes it can even take weeks before you can get find a nice high-level Thylacolio. That 145 that I found earlier, yeah, that was kind of like a stroke of luck that I found him. But, yeah. Normally, you can't find them that um, fast. I was looking around for a long time in order to get just that perfect shot with the 145. I found uh, several 30s, 180, another 65, actually I think two 65s, and, uh, and then I finally found the 145. And he was kind of like a diamond in the rough. But yeah, anyway, I hope the video helps you out. If there's anything I forgot about the Thylacolio, then make sure you leave it in the comments down below. Um, and uh, if you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody. Good luck on the Thylacolio hunting. Trust me, they will change the way you play the game. It's really amazing. These guys are just... what They are my favorite ground mount. Arjun's my favorite um, flyer. But yeah, alright, take it easy, everybody.